Hello, it's me again, Guido, and I'm here to talk about papayas, jeans, and some feedback I have gotten. Some people have been sending messages or complaining in walls that I'm supporting Monsanto or that this is uh, an affront uh, to uh, farmers, but no, it's quite the opposite. The papayas that I want to talk about, the ones that were burned in Venezuela 16 years ago, did not belong to Monsanto or any other of these seeds companies. They were a local product developed by local scientists in Venezuela in agreement uh, with the University of Cornell. There were no from any company, and it was a non-profit effort. The seeds were going to be given to the farmers so they could improve because that's the role of university in Venezuela, but that used to be the role when it had funds for research. We do a lot of research that we, in return, give to the communities because universities in Venezuela work that way. Universities in Venezuela are not private, and they have never been private, not even before Chavez. So these people, even if they had good intentions, what they did was destroy completely an effort that could have helped thousands of Venezuelan farmers and eventually might have helped people beyond Venezuela. They, what they did was destroy in its infancy an effort that could have achieved a local uh, company manufacturing seeds to help people from all over. But that never came to happen because of their opposition, because the vicious lies they said. And that's part of the story I want to say. This is not to defend Monsanto. This is not to support Syngenta or any of the uh, transnational seeds companies and genetically modified uh, organisms company. No, this is an effort to speak up and stand up for those who really had no voice that are the scientists in Venezuela, because the people who were shouting, the people who were violent, the people who were too self-righteous drowned their voices, and now I want their voices to be heard. So, that's it. Thank you.